In today's video, I'll be sharing three things that you can do before you fly that are going to make a long flight 10 times more enjoyable. The third tip is a little sketchy. If a meal is included in my flight, as it is with many long-haul international flights, I will always order a special meal, which is completely free and can usually be done online at the time of booking your flight or by calling the airline at least 48 hours in advance of takeoff. Ordering a special meal makes a massive difference for me since I actually do have a dietary restriction and need it, but it's also a great hack for anyone watching since you can not only choose something that you would like, and there are a ton of options, but there is also a second massive benefit to ordering a special meal that you may not know about. You are going to be served first. And this has many benefits. Not only are you going to get your meal while it's still actually hot, you also don't end up stuck with whatever meal is left over by the time a flight attendant gets to you in your economy seat. And by being served first, you also have the opportunity to finish first, which means you get to beat the after meal bathroom rush. Not only can you go to the bathroom without having to wait in a long lineup, but you'll usually also get a more cleanly experience by not going after everyone else does. And as a side note, another time that passengers will be rushing for the washroom is going to be when the cabin lights come on about two hours before landing. Consider setting an alarm on your phone for 2.5 hours before the estimated landing time so you can sneak in there and use the washroom just before all the other passengers are woken up and the rush for the bathroom begins. It's also good to know that absolutely anyone can order a special meal and you do not need to prove that you have any dietary restriction. And since everyone needs to order their special meal in advance, by ordering one, you are not taking a meal away from someone who may actually need it. Let us know down in the comments if you will try ordering a special meal on your next flight. The second thing that you can do before your flight that is going to make the flight so much better would be strategically choosing your seat. Seat selection at the time of booking your flight, even in economy class, often costs money. However, if you wait until the online check-in window opens, which is sometime between 24 and 48 hours before your flight's departure, you can usually choose your seat online for free. But knowing that you can choose your seat for free during the online check-in window is not the unexpected tip here. The unexpected tip here is that you should be choosing a seat that's in the middle row of seats as opposed to from the three seats on one side of the plane or the three seats on the other side of the plane. Here's why. I'll always choose to sit in an aisle seat so I have the freedom to get up and move during a long flight. I used to completely avoid the row of seats in the middle of the plane until one flight where I ended up seated on an aisle side of a middle row of three seats and realized the benefit of having two exit points. If you are in the aisle seat on a row of seats that is on one side of the plane, that means that you have to get up every single time that one of the two people sitting beside you wants to get out of their seat. However, if you happen to be in the middle row on the airplane and you are on the aisle seat, that person in the middle has two exit points, so they won't need to be bothering you every single time that they want to get out of their seat. And then if you happen to be in an unfortunate situation where you are sitting in the middle seat, you also have two exit points. Something I have always done to make my flight experience as comfortable as possible is to pack a small in-flight bag inside my personal item backpack. A personal item like a backpack or a purse or a laptop case is meant to fit under the seat in front of you while the overhead bin space is meant for larger carry-ons as well as carry-on suitcases. But assuming there is enough space in the overhead bins, what I'll do is I'll put my rolling carry-on suitcase and my backpack, that's my personal item, into the overhead bin and then just keep a small bag of in-seat essentials with me. This bag is going to contain things like headphones, an eye mask, lip balm, a water bottle, my Kindle, and a charging cord for my phone. 
This small in-flight bag allows me to have everything that I need for the flight at my seat with me without having to have a backpack at my feet taking up all of the leg room. It also keeps me from having to get up and go into the overhead bin every time I need to grab something. There's only been a handful of times where the bin space above me is completely full and I haven't been able to use this trick. If you do plan to use it on one of your flights, do be respectful and make sure that everyone can fit their carry-on suitcases up in the overhead bin, because that's what it's for, before you try to put your personal item up there and then keep a small bag with you. Best of luck on your next long haul flight and don't forget to subscribe to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye!